He says, will you be at big business in Boston or a meet and greet? You're my top five favorites of all time. Last time I saw you was Money in the Bank in Boston. Amazing performance. You still look great. So there you go. Wow. Well, you thank be in you for big that. Big business in Boston. That's an AEW event coming up. Oh, is it? Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, at this time, I don't know if I'm on that. So okay. can't confirm. Doesn't mean that I won't be there. Um, I'm not booked at this moment on that, but a lot of these bookings happen two days before they happen. Um, and I don't know if it's because guys are injured or um, or what, or if it's listening to the fans or just who knows. Either way, I'm glad to be in the opportunity that I'm in, you know, to just be on standby and like when I'm able to make it. Um, then it's awesome and it gets a lot of excitement going. Um, and uh, shit, I'm inspiring the hell out of people that that thought your body falls apart at 30 too. So that's a, that's a pretty cool position to accept as far as like, if I'm going to, you know, everyone always asks, what's your legacy? You know, as far as leaving something behind now, if you asked me a year ago, I wouldn't even thought of that. You know, every time someone says, what's your legacy you're going to leave behind? You know, I always say, if I understand that question, right. I hope that people learn to be themselves and not worry about having to fit in with others whose values don't match yours. And, and don't worry about questioning, you know, what's wrong with me. How come I'm not into that same shit. And I think it's stupid that those guys are into, cause that's how I am with 99% of things people are into. But anyway, now, I think that's all changed. I mean, just from the feedback, what I stand for right now, at least temporarily in the, in, in a lot of people's minds that have mentioned my name in the last two weeks, they think of, holy shit, 53 healthy as fuck. And um, I knew that, you know, but if, but to, to, to inspire people and impress upon them uh, a positive thing like that, that also, hopefully it gives them hope for the, for themselves certainly gives me hope for them that they'll look at their lives a little different if they um, felt a lot more limited than they should. So now I, I think that's probably going to be part of my legacy. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, you just, the fact, the simple fact that you have the foundation of uh, stretching and, and putting that into your, making that such a huge aspect of your wrestling acumen. And then later on coming up and then just like, showing that you're very still capable of doing everything that you're still able to do. You still look great and everything like that. It just kind of further sets the bar for a lot of those other uh, veteran wrestlers or people that want to keep that longevity in the business. So, and, yeah, and that's, well, that's true. If I go after the uh, AEW championship, say I say I collect that fucking gold and add that and become the only wrestler to have held the WWE TNA ECW and AEW championship. I mean, I do shit like that. I'm always finding new ways to stand out and be one of a kind. Imagine if that happened, how inspired people would be in general to think they grew up watching me decades ago. And then here at 53, they're seeing me prospectively, maybe having the best matches or the best year uh, of, of my career, um, even if they could just look at it that way from from a small point of view, you know, it's that, that's just amazing. That is. And you know what? Hey, no better time to uh, have that maybe potential title match happen is at the 420 collision. You got announced for that coming up, the AEW colli- on AEW collision, 420. Yeah, what a better is- time to go up against maybe Samoa Joe if he's still the world champ at that point or somebody else. Who knows? And, and the collision is the weekly show that's on Saturday. Okay. On yeah. 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 Um, they must have something in mind to have booked me this far ahead of time for that very special date. But uh, I, I've been booked and unbooked several times uh, already the, in the last like three months for that. Um, and so it's like, uh, you know, um, I am available. That just got canceled again. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, cool. Looking forward to it, you know, yeah, and by the way, as far as it's not hard to find what perspective 
personally what angle to take to look at this as being the best year. I mean, there's always the perspective of business of what it's like for me uh, being compensated for my time and controlling my own schedule. And uh, there's, those are things that, that, although I don't talk uh, in detail about it as much, are obviously the most important when it comes to me handling my own business. So, you know, like uh, th 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 there's always that, you know, I mean, let's just say I did a lot, a lot of matches in WWE uh, to, to make up for um, a, a much smaller number <laughs> of matches now. And I mean, I don't know how detailed, I mean, I, I think I even like said something recently open about it, but, but anyway, you just, you just, you just wouldn't, wouldn't believe it. And if you knew, then you would think right now I'm definitely living in my best life. If you, if you compared say 66 matches to five matches, let's say, from actual history. Yeah. And then you would say, holy shit, like that's really hard to believe. But I'm just telling you that, uh, man, I really like being an independent contractor and um, I'm happy with all the choices that got me here where I'm at right now. So um, if I can inspire other people to live the best lives they can, then fuck yeah, I'm all about it. Heck yeah, dude. And like even last week you gave advice on how to like what your diet is and how your workout regimen and then on top of it we get the rvdology at the end of every show too so it's just like boom if you guys want this kind of stuff rob has it for you right here that's it that's it man that's it hey we got another super chat Ooh, another super chat it is let's see oh my gosh i'm trying to pull up seamless transition here uh comments there it is all right <laughs> there it is wait that's not it either a dp 1997 thank you for the 999 pounds rob are you in wd 2k 24 if so i'll pre-order it right now man i get asked that question a lot and i don't know there we go which is common mm-hmm Okay. All right. Well, you're going to make me, you know, I can't turn my back on synchronicity because this is how the universe communicates with me. All right. The 66 matches I was talking about was my return to WWE in 2013. Mm -hmm. I did 66 matches in uh, 90 days. I had a three month contract, 66 matches and I knew what my guarantee was. Was I going to beat my guarantee? I mean, that's a lot of matches. You would think that the guarantee would be low enough, but it was so questionable every day before the show, when people are working out in the ring, I'd go up to Mark Carano. And I and I'd be like, dude, uh, what's up, man? Is it, uh, you know, um, am I gonna be able? To, am I gonna break the guarantee? Because you know, just being there. Anyway, what it depended on was was I gonna be in WK215 or whatever yeah. the fuck they called it mm -hmm. that year's video game. And Mark Caron would tell me that every day. He'd be like, you know what? I, I you you joined. Um, he said you joined right after they cast everybody for the game, but I don't think it was too late. I, I think they might have added you on it, but I'm not sure. And he would say, uh, uh, let me find out. And so I would keep checking with him every day, you know, and that, that was what was going to depend on if I beat my guarantee or not, was if I'm in the video game, I'm going to beat my guarantee. If not, it's going to be right about neck and neck, which means – if I got injured and stayed home for the three months, I would have got paid the same as I got paid for the 66 matches. And I'm telling you right now that if you can imagine if that was what I was getting paid for five matches now, then you would imagine I would have a pretty happy mindset now, not wishing that I was back in the day. Um, 
and that's a lot to take in. And I know life is amazing, but you work for peanuts because you work so much that it all adds up in the end. So I, I signed a year deal for uh, before a year at a time, mm -hmm. three year deals. And, and anyway, if, if you know, if you like, I, I said last week, I talked about they gave me five hundred bucks when I first went there and worked at Johnny, Johnny Stamboli, Johnny the Bull in Atlanta. And I got 500 bucks and I was like, I can't, I can't. That's when Pat Patterson had a talk with me in Mellon Arena. You're going to make a lot of money here, kid. And I, it's like, dude, like I said, at a zero on that, I was making that before I got here. And, and now I'm in WWE in front of these huge crowds and you're going to pay me that. And the um, thing is, one, the money does come up, the bigger star you are, and the more they decide to pay you. But also, the other fact is if you're working 250 days in a year, then even that 500 ends up being 125 grand, you know, at that, at that pay. You'd work your ass off for that 125 grand. And then, you know, when it comes to hotel pay and shit, they're sketchy about that and uh anyway that's all part of the uh of the of the job but they mark Cronel kept saying i think you're in i think you're in it and then uh no i guess you didn't you're not in this year's video game i don't know until it comes out and so i wasn't in that game and so what I made for those 66 matches was the same that I could have made for staying home if I was, if I was injured. Like in 2015, uh, when I injured my knee, was that 15? No, I'm sorry, 2005. I saw the five. But um, when I injured my knee and I was off for 12 months, one of my favorite years of my whole career. And that's because I made my guarantee, which I would have made working um, – Jesus, I don't know, 300 days uh, that year? Yeah, right. right. But anyway, as an independent contractor, you know, I can, there's, you know, with WWE, when you get booked, when I say you, that's generally speaking, but a lot of, of us, when we get booked, it's not about the payday, whereas usually it is. That's how we make our living. You know, you want me to come and wrestle for you? You know, th this is what I need. But if WWE says, uh, hey, are you able to come in and announce the fucking draft picks or whatever? You know, for me, it's not like, okay, well, let's start negotiating. Okay, here's what I need. Because it's not that big of a deal where, I, I mean, they could probably just replace me with someone and say, okay, never mind. Because they already have a budget figured out whatever they're going to pay you if they pay you. And it's, you know, it's just, it's not even about that with them normally. Mm -hmm. Although it would be, it would be, unfortunately it wasn't for me when they had me come back to my first Royal Rumble after I left way back in 2007. When I did that following Royal Rumble, that's exactly how I felt when they wanted me to come back. I did this big surprise. And for me, it was like, you know, it's not really about the money here. So I didn't stick it to them, but I should have because it was a really big appearance uh, and because they would have paid because when I left, our pay-per-views were really decent, you know, paydays and they were almost every month pretty much. And, um, and, and instead my ego took over and I was like, I'm going to show Johnny that I'm not hungry out here without him. You know what I mean? Yeah, Stupid. Yeah. Stupid. When I look back at it, you know, I, I definitely could have got three times, four times what I got, but I wanted to show, you know, like, yeah, I can do that. Sure. No problem. And um, later on, you know, when I get booked, it's just about that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, so, so now it's a lot different, but, um, but WWE uh, pays you, or at least they used to, I guess it's different now. And I hear the guarantees are much higher now and they're restructured completely different, but it used to be, you know, like if you looked at the guarantee of what you'd get at the end of the year, I'm going to at least get that no matter what. And then, you know, um, that's, that's how a lot of times you get kicked in the balls along the way on live events, especially when they're doing A, B and C shows because they're drawing smaller crowds. They're split up too much. And that's why they stopped doing that, you know, but um but yeah, and I didn't know when I first got there that sometimes the checks would be much bigger. So, uh, 
that's I didn't that was something I didn't feel like I had much control over. I had some control. I say I like being an independent contractor, but it really depended on how much balls I had. I could have at any time gone to the office and complained or suggested we'd make some changes or whatever. They're all, they always would have been open to that. I'm not saying I wouldn't have got heat for it or that a lot of other wrestlers would have gotten a lot more heat than I would have for it, you know, um, but that doesn't make it an employee employer situation in my mind. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And to your point about like the, the video game, I think Kev Nash was just asked that about the same thing. Is he going to be in 2K24 or how many outfits or something? He's like, it's like, I have no idea. <laughs> he had no idea either. So it's, it's an ongoing thing kind of thing. And uh, yeah. Whoa. 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 Rob, we already have another super chat. Boom. Super Damn. chat. Another super chat. Where is it at? 